Time for my dogs on the south side, two times for the west and the east coast. Two times for the hoes and the snake shit. Lot of hot chips, gotta do the people. Took the sand where they at, they ain't wanna shit. Took the vine and the twine with the beat though. They can't take nothing from me. Uh, nah. One time for my dogs on the south side. It's your boy Zay. It's your boy Zay here one time. Checking in. About to do this fantasy draft. Give you guys my. Who would be my picks if we had a. 10 a 10 man fantasy league going on right now so number one overall and i got the number one overall pick mind you uh i would take cooper cup just because he still has matthew stafford he was the best fantasy receiver last year you know uh that's what? your number one yeah that's my number one cooper pick. cup All right. cooper cup interesting yeah. So second pick we have C D Lamb, Leonard Fournette, Mark Andrews, Tyreek Hill, Keenan Allen, Javante Williams. Let's see. I'd probably take Nick Chubb second. So that's what's available next. Next. Let's see. Mm. Then I. Mm. That's a tough one. <laughs> I'm going to take Cedar Lamb because he's taking that number one spot. <coughs> so let's see now. My turn to draft again. All right. Fourth pick. Deontay Johnson, DJ Moore, Jalen Waddle was a beast. Brandon Cooks in Houston. I don't know. Mike Williams. Amari Cooper. Man, see, that one depends on the quarterback. If Deshaun's going to play, then maybe Amari with my fourth pick. Let's see. Come on, Jacoby Brissett. Hey, stop it, bro. See, all these quarterbacks are still available. I can still wait on quarterback. Let's see. I have two receivers running back. Let's go with tight end. Take a really good tight end. And... Hmm... I say Cole Komet. I think he's going to be a, a sleeper this year. Cole Komet at tight end. A sleeper? Mm-hmm. What team is he on? The Bears? Uh, the Bears, yeah. yeah. I think he's going to be Justin Fields' top target. Okay. Yeah. I said it. You heard it here first. Even though they just traded for uh, Nikhil Harry? It's all good. All right. My fifth pick, Travis Etienne Jr. Nice. The Jaguars. I think he's a hidden gem. Yeah, he when you know, I mean, he dropped all the way to the fifth. Why not take him? You know, uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and go with the quarterback. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna go home and take Dak. <laughs> dropped all the way down to the six. Let's see. Seventh pick. I'll go with. Marquise Brown, just because I think he's going to be the number two. Hopkins is going to be super covered out there. He's going to be another Christian. Kirk. Don't forget, Hopkins is missing the first few games of the year. That too. Yeah. Ooh. So Marquise, yeah. and then that's his boy, mm-hmm. right, Kyler. Let's see. So. I'll go ahead and I'll take Dawson Knox, just because he's a monster sometimes too when he's healthy. So two tight ends. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Why not right. run a two tiny system? Right. Hey, it could be a trade stock, you know? I mean, if you get them that low, you're getting them in the eighth round, bro. You know what I mean? Why not? <coughs> cool. Uh, let's see. Man, Russ is still available in the ninth round. Thinking about it. Rodgers. I don't think Rodgers is going to be the same without Devontae Adams. 
So it's you, a little interesting on your strategy because you went first and you went with the receiver. So that's interesting. Why is that interesting? Because usually people go with the running back. Nah. Not this nah, year? Not this year. Nah. I got I got a decent I got a pretty decent running back in the second round and then I still got Travis Etienne too. Right. You know, I think those are gonna be two good running backs. Travis Etienne didn't get to play last year. I think this year he's gonna go off. Yeah, he didn't get to improve so, himself. So And I thought I thought he would I thought he would have been up there with Najee. Yeah. Yep. He don't got that line Najee has, but So let's see. <sighs> mm. Mm. I'm going to drop the Bills defense. See if they got Vaughn Miller. I think that could change a lot. Honestly. I mean, see, mm-hmm. uh, let's see. Maybe another quarterback. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it in the tenth round. I'm gonna draft, draft Russell Wilson. He's still available. He's still available. Still available. Yeah. You know, you could have so. had Russell Wilson, and not have picked Dak, and and still been all right at quarterback, and had another top player. Yeah, you're right. Right. But Dak might have still even been there. Maybe. I wouldn't doubt it. Let's see. I don't know. Tyler Bass. I don't even know how many picks I have left, to be honest. I have four picks left. So, let's see. Uh... I'll go with Madison because Dalvin Cook gets injured a lot. Madison was a beast last year. And I'm going to draft James Robinson and figure out which one works out between those two. Nice. Let's see what I got next. This is where where you pick the game winners. Mm Mm-hmm. Because the top ones are easy. The t- first few, the, 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 the easy ones, the last ones, mm-hmm. where you got multiple players that could possibly go off, but you don't know for sure. This is where the game winners are picked at, guys. Man. This is going to be my Jamar Chase pick from last year. Remember Jamar Chase? Yeah. George Pickens with Pittsburgh. That's my Jamar Chase pick this year. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably end up with him. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I'll take Kenneth Gainwell with my last pick, just because Miles Sanders is also very injury prone. All in all, I picked uh, number one, Cooper Cup. Uh, number two, I took Nick Chubb. Number three, I took C.D. Lamb. Number four, I took tight end Nicole Komet. Number five, I went with Travis Cetine. Number six, I went with Dak at quarterback. Number seven, I took Marquise Brown. With my number eight pick, I took Dawson Knox. Uh, with my number nine pick, I took the Bills defense. Number 10th pick, Russell Wilson was still there, so I took him. Uh, Picked the kicker at number 11. I took Tyler Bass. Then I took backups, basically, to my last four picks in Alexander Madison, James Robinson, George Pickens, and Kenneth Gainwell. Could be trade bait. You know, I mean, like I said, with the two tight ends, I mean, Cole Komet. Or waiver be trade cuts. bait. Or waiver cuts, whatever. Yeah. Doesn't matter, bro. <laughs> Beginning of the season. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, man. Uh, I don't know. 
So I think, how'd you think you do? Did it give you a gray? I don't know. It didn't give me no. Yeah, it usually don't tell you you get an F, bro. Yeah, no. it didn't tell me. It didn't tell me anything. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, yeah. Yeah. So that was yours, huh? That was mine. That was not bad. Not what about bad. yours? Okay, guys. And Zay just showed us what he does with the number one pick, right? So I'm gonna come in and show y'all what to do if y'all get the number ten pick. Know what I'm saying? So in case you're in the last position. You end up with people right here like Travis Kelsey, Jamar Chase, Swift. I mean, all three of them, the Devontae Adams, Diggs, they're all great picks. Me, I like running backs, but you got to know it's either Chase or Adams are going to get 100 targets this year, right? That's what I'm saying. I, I think Cooper Cup's going to get up there, too. So, so I took Cooper Cup at number one. I mean, he's back with his boy. Sway told me that the Raiders... Raiders. The Raiders. So I'm going to go Jamar Chase. Oh, <laughs> man. Let's go, Jamar Chase. Yeah. You already know. Zay already knows. If you didn't pick Jamar Chase last year and stay, stick with him, yeah, I feel sorry for you, man. But, um, yeah, so that was my pick. Actually, I'm in the snake draft, so I got well, back to back. Back to back. Imagine that. Yeah. I might just want to go with Swift just because he's a running back. But now I'm going to go with Devontae Adams because mm. I trust my Kim Two top receivers, okay. Yeah, two 100 y- y- uh, receptions. And uh, let's keep going. Pick number three. Now I can get a running back. Like James Conner's right there for me. Nah, let's go looking for something else. Who else is available? Go to, go to cheat sheets. Cheat sheets? Yeah. And right there you can pick whatever you want. And then high drafted. Go to the click where it says high drafted. And you can only see whatever's still available. Hmm. See what I'm saying? Let's see wide receivers. Second pick. Make it count. That's third. That's the third pick. Oh, yeah, you took Devontae Adams and what's his name? Jamar Chase. Man, see, th- this is the problem. When you faced with the number 10 pick, you know you get the two. And you know when you come back, you're not going to have the same players on the board. There's too many receivers. I'm going to go with my running back. I need a running back. Yeah, you went two receivers. Yeah, I got two receivers. So I can afford to take a risk here. I'm going to take a huge risk. Y'all might call me crazy, but I'm going to go for it. Brees Hall. Brees Hall. That's a tough one. Yeah. Brees Hall. Man, why did you just do that to yourself? Because I go back to back. Ooh. So I can get to pick another running back. ETN. I, w- I would say so. But I'm going to go with Josh Jacobs. Ooh. Damn it, Bobby. Look at all the good players going. Yeah, they're all going. Damn. Terry McLaurin oh, took man. off. That's who I was going for right after. Oh, man. Oh, man. Look at the receivers now. Mm. Mm. See, like I said, Amari's questionable. If it's Deshaun throwing to him, boom. You know what I mean? It's going to be good. But who's their backup again? Cleveland's backup? Uh, Jacoby Brissett. Jacoby Brissett. I don't Brissett. know about him and Amari. Maybe. They could get a connection. Who knows? He made that look good. Look, Travis Atini's still there. Antonio Gibson's still there. Yeah. I'm going to go Antonio Gibson in this one. Okay. I'm going to take the veteran. Nothing against the rookie, the rookster. Let me start looking at tight ends. Oh, Dalton Shaw's right there. Yeah. DJ Hawkinson's Let there. Hawk. Let me take the Hawk. Let's go. Let's go. I like the back-to-back picks. All right, let me go look at the quarterbacks real quick. Dak Prescott's still there. Russell <laughs> Wilson's still there. No. Man, I got a good choices here. J.K. Dobbins is going to come back hungry. He should be the number one running back, but Lamar Jackson's there. Rashad Bateman. Juju with, with Mahomes? Nah. I don't think so. I don't think that's going to be as explosive as people think. 
Nah, you or know did what? They, or, or did they get rid of Tyreek Hill for that? Now you know what, Jose? I'm gonna show you the the Jamar Chase one right here. Drake London. Ooh. Bam. With that. Let's go. Who's Let's gonna, go. Who's gonna throw him the ball? Two different quarterbacks this year. I don't know. <laughs> Besides Marotta, I can't tell you. Desmond Ritter. There you go. Desmond Ritter. Okay. Man, I got good people still here. I can't afford to pass up Kareem Hunt. I'm sorry, but I can't. I've seen this man do it with Chubbs in front of him. So I, I'm not going to allow that to uh, slip my hands this year. Quarterback. Dak Prescott Russell Wilson still there. I could still can't take a runny back. Look, I could take I could even take a wide back. Cordell Patterson's still there. I don't know if he's gonna have the same effect this year that he did last year. That's why I didn't touch him. It's all right. Look, Christian Kirk's there. That should be the number one receiver in Jacksonville, huh? Christian Kirk? Yep. Yeah, he got paid like a number one. So I'm gonna draft him just cause. Cause I know they, they, they have to be game planning. They, you don't you don't pay Christian Kirk that much money and not try to make him your number one. You know yeah. what I mean? They're gonna yeah. they're gonna try to push it around him. Yeah. Yeah. Defense. Uh, I guess I'll take my quarterback here because I don't think these guys are gonna be back. These two guys at the top are good. Very good. Trey Lance. Jimmy's gone, so Trey's got the starting spot. But I'm going to go with Russell Wilson. I just like the position he's in, the team he's on now. Yeah. Got a better team. See like, if he can break that playoff streak. Yeah, I think he has something to prove this year. He, yeah. he keeps showing himself in the spotlight. Yeah. So he won all the games and stuff. You know what I mean? I, st- I could start going kicker. Yeah, I see. I might probably go for the kicker now. Get the one I want. I'm going to go Justin. T- nah. I'm going to go Daniel Carlson. Oh, good one. Yeah, because I think the Raiders are going to score a lot this year. Or at least be in position. And then I'll just take a... I'll take San Francisco's defense. They're still nasty. Got two more picks, I think, after this. Yeah. One. So the defense, I got my kicker. I'm gonna go get a backup tight end, Mike Gusecki. He's playing on the franchise tag. Let's go. Let's go. Just in case he works out. I trust backup. in Trevor Lawrence. Yeah, back up. Just in case it works out. Good bye week quarterback, I guess. All right, guys. So these look like this is about to be my last few picks. Who would you pick, guys? Drop it in the comments below. Who would you pick? Would y'all even go receiver? Would y'all consider receiver after all those receivers I drafted? Go for a shoot in the dark? All right, let me get y'all guys a rookie to look out for. Sky Moore. With Kansas City? Mm-hmm. Again, these are for rookies. I mean, that's not really rookies. Let me see. Running back, rookie. I mean, they're probably not going to be right there. Nah. Rashad White. I think he's a rookie, right? Who? Rashad White. Uh, I think so. Tampa? Yeah. Yeah. But so, Leonard's got that job, though, I think. Yeah, so I would go with the uh, rookie just for shooting the dark. So I'll take Sky Moore. And let's go. It looks like I got a 54 out of 100. So they F- don't agree F- with me. Yeah, straight F-, F. But again, I mean, I've got an S before, but when I actually draft, they're not Fs. With the, the league you won last year, you had an A+. Plus, so. A+, plus, right. Yeah. And again, guys, this is because, I mean, I drafted 10. You, we'll see how the season plays out. I mean, again, we don't know if all the moves are done just yet. So let me know what y'all thought about my draft. If y'all would have done what y'all would have done different. But yeah, there you go. Najee Harris is gonna take it. It's my number one. It's a good pick. Yeah. 
a decent pick. You know what I mean, like, and like, you said, a, like you said, Big Ben's not there no more, and they should be trying to run the ball every down. And he's proven he can do it. Oh yeah, he did all season last year. And he wanted to play more. He was like, I don't know, you could you could tie in the NFL. Remember last year? Yeah. He was like, I don't know, you could tie. He was like, I wanted to go back out there and play again. <laughs> He thought he was still playing college football. For my second pick. Click high drafted so that way you don't have to worry about seeing. There you go. For my second pick, I'm going to have to go with somebody you know. He comes on Friday. Guess who it is? (laughs) Debo. Good pick. The wide back. Wide back position. Funny, funny thing. Uh, I, I saw this little story that uh, Dallas might try to go sign him. I doubt it. I don't think it'll happen, bro. They don't pay big time free we, agents. We, we do. We do our due diligence. That's what we do. <coughs> <coughs> Fucking Cowboys, bro. They pissed me off. It's all good though. It's whatever. And why not go ahead and go with Darren Waller, you know, have Derek Carr throwing them because I think Derek Carr is going to win MVP this year. Oh, that's, that's a bold, a bold pick. statement for real. Sound like Michael Irvin. Bold predictions. I mean, he also thinks the Texans are going to go to the playoffs. So, you know, there's that. <laughs> Well, I mean, he did say that the Texans are going to be better than we think. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Who knows? I don't know. I don't, I don't believe so. You know, it, that's just me. Davis Mills, huh? Davis Mills. You going to draft him? No. Nah. He's your guy? Why not? I drafted, dra- uh, I drafted Dak. But I'm not a homer when it comes to this. <laughs> yeah, you are, bro. What are you talking about? Yeah, you are. I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and draft Derek Carr. He's <laughs> got all the weapons out there. Ooh. You, so you took Derek Carr. Yep. He really believes in Derek Carr. Yeah. He took him to the what, third pick? I'm convinced. That's hey, why this I is, Devontae Adams. Hey, listen. This is why he was always bottom of the barrel in our Madden leagues, bro. Because he drafts like this. He drafts a quarterback in the third round. He'll probably draft a quarterback first round if he had the chance. Hey, put it like this. If I, if, if I had that feeling that the quarterback was going to go off, I might have gone for it too. Look how, how I drafted Trey Lance last year. When you have that feeling, you have that feeling. Yeah, that's true. That's very true, my friend. Very true. And he didn't even play. Yeah, for real. <laughs> and I kept him on, on, on the bench almost the whole season. All right, let's go with a good tight end. Let's go with... The security blanket for... Jalen Hurts, Dallas Goddard. Over, over George Kittle, bro. Wow, man, that those are both statements, Kent. I don't know. I would have still gone George Kittle even with Trey Lance. Nah, I just don't trust San Francisco like that because you know Debo's, you don't trust Kyle Shanahan because I know Debo is gonna be doing all the work. He's gonna get the ball every play. That's why, and that's why George Kittle is gonna be the one to get the ball because it, they are gonna try to stop Debo. But they're not gonna be able to stop Debo. Seen the Cowboys didn't do it last year. The Rams did it. Barely. Let's see, we still got some more running backs out here. Huh. I like I like dress strategy, so I- you guys, hey, you guys, comment down below. Let, let us know what y'all think about drafts. Uh, Sway's drafts, draft strategy over here. What y'all think about the way he drafts? Y'all think he can win a championship? Let's go. Let's go with the defense, you know. Oh, he's taking defense. I'm going to go ahead and surprise everybody. I think Kansas City is going to have their number Kansas one City defense, defense this year. 
That boy Chris Jones is going to have a breakout season. He's got help this year. He's got uh, my boy, you know, former Houston Texans out there at safety. This guy. Justin Reed. <laughs> Yeah, okay, Justin so Justin Reed yeah. going to change it all up. And then they got that defensive end they drafted, George. They got the Evil Twins. What were their names? Evil uh, Evil Dread Twins. Yep, Lonnie Johnson out there too now. In Kansas City? And that's going to be that's the, that's the hey, Kansas what, City what Texans. Was, what was the corner that it, uh, Mc, Mc, McDuffie? Trent McDuffie? Yep. It's going to be a crazy defense right there. Uh, let's see how more we're, we're bored. I still got a couple more draft picks. <laughs> Damn, boy. Crazy. Crazy picks. All right, I'm about to go right here with another receiver. I'm going to go ahead and go with Jerry Jude. Jerry Judy. And he might be a breakout with yeah. Russell Wilson over there now. Yep, yep. This is what his third year. Yeah, this is when the receivers already should uh, then he's start making a, plays. Then he's got a quarterback that can finally throw the ball that way. Yeah, yeah. And then also, I mean, like, uh, remember that 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 uh, that year Jared Judy came out. Uh, it was a popping wide receiver class. A lot of great receivers came out. So if Russell Wilson's got a good one there, then he should have a good season. Plus, they got Corlin Sullen there over there, right? Mm-hmm. So, he should take all the Still number ones. And, and they got Tim Patrick. So, Jerry Judy is not going to face the number one corner. And he's fast. Mm-hmm. And he can run routes. He just needed a quarterback to get him the ball, I think. Yeah, not no Drew Locke. <laughs> we'll go ahead and go with another quarterback. Just in case you know, my boy, Derek Carr, go has a bye week. We'll go with Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow. I see Joe. He never had too many quarterbacks on your team. Tell the, tell that to the Carolina Panthers. Can't have too many quarterbacks. They said they're about to go get another one. They got they got PJ Walker. They got Baker Mayfield. They got Sam Darnold, aka Mr. Bradford, that came back. And they got Matt Corral. And to be honest, I think Matt Corral is going to take over. You think so? Yep. Really? I think Baker's yep. going to start by the end of the year. By the end of the year or next year, it's the Matt Corral show. The Matt Corral show. Right. Now I'm not saying he's going to dominate, running, but there's, there's still why, some running he was backs good in Madden or what? No, actually, I never played with him on Madden. Um, actually, the, before he came out into the the draft the year before, uh, when he got hurt, he was projected almost to be a top ten pick. For quarterback or overall period he looked good out on the field but he got hurt and that's why he dropped to the third round hey so. man i'm gonna go ahead and go with a kicker justin tucker since you know baltimore might not be in scoring a lot of touchdowns but they will be scoring a lot of field goals justin tucker's been a good kicker for many years so far top five in my opinion for Probably his whole career. Ooh. So, yeah, Justin Tucker, you can't go wrong with him. How many picks you got left, Sway? Looks like three or four. Let's see, just run it back to here. Ooh. Ooh. It gets tougher, huh? Ooh. Ain't no clear cut running back. You could just pick us like pick out of the litter, and they're all looking the same now. Mm-hmm. This is I this mean, is I, really I, what chooses the winners and the losers, Ken. Like I said earlier, though, it was a because you got to pick the right ones at the end. You can't just get the ones on the front. Yep. I mean, it's okay if you get some wrong, but you got to get them through waiver now, and He's, good luck. That you even get the first waiver pick. <laughs> he's going he's gonna to get a Z grade. Nah, man. I'm finna go. Mm-hmm. You go I'm going to throw a curveball at you. <laughs> I'm going to go with Hart, Miko Hardman from Kansas City. Bro, you've been throwing curveballs this whole draft. <laughs> Just because. 
He's the next thing to Tyreek Hill on that team. Oh, my <laughs> God, bro. He can't this be man. serious. This He's guy. the next thing. Oh, what about Sky Moore? Sky Moore, he's a rookie. Right. Oh, okay. So you would rather put a veteran. Tyreek Hill, Tyreek Hill was a rookie once, too. I don't know, but. Or, hold on, hold on. Crazy draft choices, man. Go for it, though. You got it, brother. Chase Claypool's out there, but there's nobody to throw to him. We got Zach Ertz at the tight end. <laughs> See, if they, Deshaun Watson was starting, I would have been looking at Najoku because he just got that contract too. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and go with James Cook. James Cook. From Buffalo. No get lie. them screens from Josh <laughs> Allen. Okay. Was he running back? Yeah. Yep. You know, there's yep, like. Dalvin there, 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 little brother. You know, there's. Oh, okay. You know, there's two running backs ahead of him, right? I saw Tony Pollard out there. That's what I would have took. <laughs> yeah, but I was thinking about that, too. Just in he case might, Zeke goes down. Because he might take Zeke's spot. Yeah, that's that all right. What, what did they grade you? Huh? What did they grade him? F? Oh, no. He still has more. You still got a pick? Like one more, I think. Oh, okay. Was it the last one? Now I got one more. One more pick. The last pick should be a secure pick. Sterling Shepard was doing pretty good last year. But he keeps he gets hurt too much. Yep, I was about to say that. Trust me, I try I tried him out last year. He put he put up some points though when he did play. I already got two tight ends, right? Fuck it, take another one. Fuck it. No, I already got. Okay. No, I already got Darren Waller and Dallas Goddard. So <laughs> you need a third one. Though. What's What's the best player available? Hit all. Oh yeah. What's the best player available? Dalton Schultz. <laughs> He's the best player available. Yeah. Dalton, oh, just take him. He's gonna be your number one tight end, even though you picked two. Melvin Gordon, Rashad Penny. Nah, I'm gonna go with. Hey, and the way I saw my draft going, this is not the last pick, bro. Huh? I don't think this is the last pick. I thought it was only to 10. No. No, there's 10 uh, people in the draft. Oh, so, so you oh, still so there's still like four then. Yeah. You still have four picks. This guy. I thought it was only like 10 picks. Still got a chance, Sway, to make this count. <clears throat> yep. Why not go with JD McKissick? He went to back to the commanders for a reason. JD uh, McKissick. He went back for a reason. Because he had that contract with Buffalo. Yeah, he had, I, thought, I, I thought he had to win with someone else, yeah. He went with Buffalo, but then he, he went he back. Came back. Yeah, he went back to the Commanders. Do you know why? Because Gibson and him were they won two punts. And he'll probably have more playing time in the Commanders. <coughs> yeah, because the other guy, Mike Singletary, and what's his name, uh, Zach Moss. Plus another guy, Cook. What, Aaron Rodgers still out here? Russell Wilson? He said Trey Lance, but I don't trust that. I don't even think he's going to start this year. What? Jimmy G's not even participating in camp. He's hurt. Sorry. He's going to start. What? Henderson? Still there? Yeah. <laughs> Tua's still there? 
And uh, but no lie though, they said Van. Hell, they got two Kenley, that high. They said Van Liss Kenley was the best receiver right now in Kansas City. What about Ellen Lazard? Oh, you say Kansas, it's Kansas City, my bad. I'm thinking Green Bay. Patrick Mahomes he did play for a lot Green. of, lot of help over there. He did, he did uh, play for Ken, uh, Green Bay, but not no more. Hey, Moss. Jamal Williams started running back, right? Nah, he's the backup uh, to DeAndre Swift. Who's the DJ Chart? Is he gonna be the number one receiver? I don't know. It's between like him and uh, uh, Christian Kirk, and who's the other guy? Not Christian Kirk went to uh, Jaguars. Then where did DJ Shark go? He's in Detroit. Oh well, then it's uh, him and uh, what's what's that with the receiver Austin or whatever? What's his name? Jose. Who the receiver from Detroit? Um. Yeah, you, you drafted him last yeah, year in the bin. Yeah. Uh. Monroe St. Brown. There you go. That's I the number one. Him, I got him in. I got him in free agency actually. That's bro. the number one receiver over there besides that guy. Then now uh, DJ Shark. Think Marlon Mack's gonna start this year, or you think Pierce is gonna take the starting spot? Man, I really believe in Pierce. So, even though Marlon Mack might be the starter, if he's not doing good, Pierce is definitely gonna be the starter by the end of the year. So, I mean, if you think that Marlon Mack can stay healthy and play good, I think he'd be the starter the whole year. He's got fresh legs. Should have. He didn't play all, all last year at all. Remember they were gonna trade him and then trade didn't trade a deadline. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go with Marlon Mack. Just because he's proved he's, he can be a thousand yards uh, running back. No lie, Jameson Williams. It's another rookie one I didn't mention, but I'll say it now. Jameson Williams. Yup, with Detroit. I said in the beginning, <laughs> I think he's the break. I think he he's might, the he Justin might, Jefferson of the draft. He might not play though until like the middle of the season. Yeah, yeah, but I think he, I think he has star potential. But that's that's what they're saying about Me- Michi. Uh, bro, Jameson Williams went in the first round and John Michi went in the third. Yeah, but did you see what uh, what John Michi was rated in the college before he got hurt? No. Nah. He was top five. Was he now? Yep, before he got hurt. Man, it's like you got to stay healthy and play good at the same time. Yeah, because that will hurt, affect your drift. Huh. Call me crazy. But Sammy Watkins going to be the number one receiver for the Green, for Dan, Aaron Rodgers in Green Bay. <laughs> yeah, bro. What? All these curveballs. Sammy balls. Watkins? Yeah. That's all he got over there. Okay. So that's going to be Devontae Adams' replacement. Sammy Watkins. Okay. Let us know what you think, Macho Sports Flex. Is, is, is it's way crazy. Throwing all these curveballs. Going off the grid. But you know what would be funny? Sometimes it'd be like that, though. What if he gets an A, bro? As a draft grade. I'd be um, fucking shocked. Not really. He started off well. He had good running backs. True. I feel like I got judged off of mine because I went with the receivers. Last pick of the draft. Oh, oh. who's who's who sways Mister Irrelevant? 
Can't count them all off, man. This is going to be a crazy NFL season. Devontae Parker went to the New Orleans Patriots. Hmm. Interesting. Mac Jones? Mm hmm. Remember Tim Patrick? You remember you told us last year? Yeah, Tim Patrick. Oh, yeah, I remember I told you that one week to pick up Tim Patrick, and y'all were like, bro. Really? I did pick him up when he played Dallas. Oh, you did? How'd that work out? Awesome. Awesome. He went off on him. I think he had like two touchdowns. Wow. Nice. Yeah, the Broncos beat the shit out of us last year. Ain't going to happen this year. Hey, Devontae Foreman, he's a starting running back for Carolina. No, it's, it's, no, it's, it's McCaffrey. Yeah, McCaffrey. But McCaffrey's but always hurt. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I'm going to go ahead and just don't say four minutes. That, 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 that was actually a pretty good one. Pretty good one, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's where you usually draft him at. Yeah, yeah, Ooh, 32 100. <laughs> oh, all yeah. Okay, it's all right. We all got ifs. It's all right, man. Look, Fuck look, guys. If y'all, if y'all don't believe me, show y'all. Post y'all screenshots. Yeah, hit that link down below, man. Y'all can do y'all's own mock draft simulator. Yeah, post y'all screenshots. So, so yeah, guys. So that was the draft. Uh, let us know what y'all thought about Zay's my draft, Sway's draft. Who do you think had the better draft? Uh, I mean, what we, would you we do? All, we number all one, F's. ten in the in the middle. This so you, is this is again remind y'all. This is an early season draft. I mean, we're gonna go home, maybe do some homework. I mean, we obviously all got F's, so we need to rethink what we're gonna do. You know what I mean? To get that A, to get that game winning, championship winning lineup. Yeah, guys. I mean, we'll we'll probably uh, we'll have another uh, fantasy draft this year. So, anyone ready to join? Uh, send us a message. Uh, let us know something. Drop a comment, and we'll go ahead and put you down. To go ahead and uh, join us join in the league. league. Yep. Yeah. But uh, don't forget to strike out that like button, check the subscribe button, dunk your comment down below. This is Macho Sports Flex flexing out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Check it out. Work again, what goes around comes around, cycle continuing. Mind on my money, I'm all about dividends. Only catch flight to you, all of your feelings, kid. Bumping tips and JR know that they feeling it. All in their mouth like a feeling is. Go bring a dentist in. I've been tuned in like I'm off of that riddling. I've been that booth and start riddling. Any minute.